Hello my baby loves, I am back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create this halfway up, halfway down quick weave. I'm using my Desore hair from AliExpress. You can use any hair that you want. You just need to make sure you prepare your hair before you start this process. Make sure you grease your hair up, you wash it good, and you know, you put the oils that you need to put in there. You need two stocking caps and you need some bundles of course and you also need some scissors and a white marker. Like guide you where you need to stop putting your tracks and where you need to begin your tracks. So that's basically that. Um, and so you're just gonna measure your wefts to your head to, to see how long you need it to be and that's pretty much how simple this process is. Towards the top, you're going to start doing a like, you know, a more curved effect to your um, tracks because you don't want them straight on because you're gonna have to start cutting really, really tiny pieces if you do just continue making them straight across. This is a really super easy style, especially for somebody like me because I've been doing this on myself for a very, very long time, but, and on others. This is how I first started getting into hair because girls in my high school used to always ask me to do their hair and this is the style that I usually would do for them, but this is when invisible parts were out. But anyway, so the main question that I got from you guys was like, how is this even able to stay on your head? Um, well, you are getting glue on your hair, but because I use two stocking caps, it's not as much as if I was to use one. Um, this is a quick weave, so you know, that's the whole point, it's just a quick style. You do need to secure your hair, you know, you can do the molding method if you want to, but I just don't like all that product on my natural hair. How I remove this is by just using shampoo and conditioner. I drench my head in water and then I just literally allow it to marinate on my head for a little bit and then the moisture from the conditioner and the shampoo just like loosens up everything and it literally slides right off. Don't go pulling at anything. If you feel like you know, you're struggling with getting some of the pieces off, you know, just go in with a little bit more con conditioner. Go in with a little bit more conditioner and just like massage it through your head and then use a wide tooth comb to get any extra gunk out of your hair that you may have. But this is not a everyday style. You can't keep doing this to your head every single day or you will cause problems. It will be easier if you like this look and you just wanna go ahead and sew it down because it's a little bit more secure and it's gonna last a lot longer. A quick weave is only going to last maybe for three to four days, depending on your everyday life. If you go out, you know, partying and you sweat a lot in your head, this is just not going to work for you more than, you know, two or three days. But if you know how to wrap your hair at night and you're really good at just, you know, just being a princess, then it may last you maybe like a week or so. But anyway, um, that's how simple that is. I think that pretty much touches all the main questions that you guys may have. And yeah, so what you don't see me doing is blow drying each piece. Now you should do that if this is like your first time doing this, but I wait to the end because I just don't have time to be picking up and putting down the blow dryer. Now, if I wasn't recording a video, I probably would, but it, it's just too much to try to do all of this and record it at the same time. This video was literally 20 minutes long. It took me only 20 minutes to do this, but of course it doesn't look like it because it's sped up in certain spots. But yeah, so I also want to let you guys know that you need to leave enough hair at the top. You need to leave enough hair out at the top where you're able to use some of that hair to cover your lash track at the back of your hair, if that makes sense. So um, even though, you know, you're going to have all of this fullness from the weave, you also need to have some of your hair out to cover the lash track because you don't want anything to be showing. So you're going to see me do that in a second. But right now I'm just using the blow dryer just to make sure everything is secure and laying how I need it to. And it's just going to make every, everything feel like, you know, it's in place, like you need it to be. So I'm just gonna use some scissors just to cut off the remaining of the stocking cap. And you just need to be really careful with this part. I would suggest you guys go ask somebody else to do this for you because you do not want to cut any of your hair. Trust me, you don't want to do that. So yeah, if you don't have a really close mirror or you're just not good at doing something like this, just go ask somebody else. But you just need to cut it as close as possible to the last track at the top because you um, don't want anything peeking through, like a stocking cap peeking, peeking through because somebody gonna be like, girl, what the, what is that? Like, do you got pantyhose in your head? But yeah, so that's that. And I'm just gonna use another bundle. So that was pretty much two bundles in the back. And then this is the third bundle that I'm using for the top half of the hair because we need this half to be looking as full as the back, obviously. Now, me being an idiot, I decided that I wanted to pick up the wrong bundle. I picked up their body wave bundle by accident. But yeah, I mean, it still worked well because it was the same hair company's hair. So 
the quality wasn't any different. This hair is super soft and nice and full and just, you know, it's perfect for a style like this. So I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and just make the top a little bit fuller by adding some of the third bundle that I have from this company. I actually got four bundles, but I didn't want to use the fourth bundle. I may want to use the fourth bundle for another ponytail style or something like that. So yeah, but um, I'm just going to wrap it around enough where I feel like it's full enough and I need enough that I could take some of that hair to do that little band method around this ponytail vibe if you're feeling the vibe here if you're if you're getting what I'm trying to say um, and this is just going to secure the ponytail look and also make sure that there's no track showing so here's what I'm talking about so you see I'm taking that piece and I'm wrapping it around trying to see how thick I want it it's definitely your preference you know, some people like going all out, but I like trying to make mine look a little bit more reasonable. So I don't use that much hair, but you do need enough so it doesn't get hidden in the track, if that makes sense. So yeah, so just watch this. And I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray just to smooth everything out. So, you know, there's no weirdness going on. And I was just smacking on that gum. I would never chew gum in a video again because I was looking like a little cow. Just ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. But I'm just using my um, hair to brush to just smooth everything out. Now you can see the hair in its natural state. The top is body wave from Desore and the bottom is natural wave from Desore. So whatever hair you like, you know, girl, it will be linked in the description box below. If you are interested to get bundles from them, I'm just going to put a little bit of layers at the top because I knew that I was going to style it because I messed up and used the wrong bundle for the top. So now I was kind of definitely forced to style this hair for you guys. But that's good because you'll know that it holds a really nice curl. So as you can see, I was just playing with it, trying to see what I was trying to go for. Do I want flat iron curls or do I want my hot tools? One and a half inch curls. And I went with this look because this look made me happy. So it will be listed in the description box below if you are interested to purchase them. They are from Ulta. You can get both of these from Ulta. And that's pretty much it, ladies. Like, this is how simple this is. There's no rocket science behind it. You just need to make sure. Oh, the main thing, sis. When you are placing your tracks on your head, you need to make sure that they're lining up with each other. You do not want stair steps with these tracks because if you do stair steps, when you go and cut off the remaining lace i mean a uh, wig cap it will cause all this wonkiness going on and it's just not going to look as clean as you need it to look and it may cause the style to last less than even a day so be be really really careful and make sure you you know pay attention to that line your line your tracks up really really important so yeah um the removing process i just use shampoo and conditioner to you know get it off my head i drench my head in water and then i just kind of like you know put my head upside down and like pour some shampoo on like the nape of my neck or the sides or whatever parts that i can just feel that it's almost about that time you know that it's coming up or loosening up i definitely focus on those parts first and then i go into like trying to like you know, have it marinate on there just a little bit. And then I just use my wide tooth comb if I feel like there's any pieces of glue left in my hair after taking this off. And the cool thing about this, you're, you're going to feel like you're able to reuse it because the wefts are still going to be attached to the wig cap. And well, if that happens to you, that always happens for me. But yeah, and you're like, oh my God, like, can I put this back on my head? But you really can't. So don't even try it. But you may be able to take the, you know, tracks off of the wig cap and reuse them if that's your thing. But 
honestly you can just get some more bundles from the beauty supply store and just finesse this look again but i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and desore hair information will be linked in the description box below love you mm -hmm.